Good morning, class. Welcome to day six of your self-portrait unit. Today is the day before the project is due. So just as a reminder that your project is due the following class in um, day seven, in the day seven folder. So please make sure you are working very diligently to get your work done and completed for ne the next class. So this video is going to discuss today's task list uh, and assignments that need to be completed for today. Your learning goal for the entire unit is to plan and create a specific mood to convey through the use of oil pastels. And again, you do not need to use value, which is the uh, addition of light and shadow to show form. You may use flat colors, uh, although um, I would recommend trying to use value, trying to add some light and shadows where you see them in your, your portrait, in your photo, uh, but you do not have to. Uh, your essential question is why do artists write an artist statement? And as we've been discussing each day, this is so that there is no misconception of the message or the mood in the artwork and that the viewer completely understands the proper message as it was intended by the artist, why they chose that mood or message, and even how they came to the end result with the process of creating the project was. So all of those things are perfect examples as to why artists write artist statements. Your vocabulary word for today is subject, and that's gonna lead us into uh, our task list. So let's get started with that. Your task list for today is to first watch the subject video to help with today's entrance ticket questions. The answers to both entrance ticket questions are in that video. I, I discuss both of them at length to make sure you understand um, the, the proper answers. So your entrance ticket uh, is, your questions are, what is a subject and how can the size of a portrait affect its importance as the main subject? So make sure you watch the video first, then complete the entrance ticket because all the answers are in the video. As long as you complete them in the proper order, you'll have no issues with this. And lastly, just continue adding, spend the rest of the class adding color to your portrait and submit your progress to today's day six uh, student progress. You should be at the point where you're a little bit more than halfway done. So I put 60% color completion. You should have about 60% of your project in color with solid colors showing good craftsmanship so that in the the next class in day seven, you'll only have to add finish that last 40%, that last little bit, and that should guarantee that you finish the assignment on time and that you put the proper amount of time and effort to get uh, that prestigious 95 or 100% for the project. All right, uh, I will see you all in just a short moment in the, in the subject video. Um, please make sure that you complete all your assignments today, and I look forward to seeing your projects and how they are coming along. All right, everyone, I'll see you in just a moment. Bye, guys.